Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. Gamma Quarter 2 2024 Shipment and Billing Report released. DJI NEO, finally a drone that feels like the future, is here. SpaceX Polaris Dawn mission launches. Welcome to Airborne Unlimited. I'm your host, Holland Lee. Let's get into today's stories. Gamma Quarter 2 Shipment and Billing Report released. The General Aviation Manufacturers Association issued the second quarter 2024 General Aviation Aircraft Shipment and Billing Report. The report shows that for the six-month period ending June 30th, compared to the same period in 2023, deliveries increased in the piston airplane, business jet, and piston helicopter segments. In addition, the total overall value of aircraft shipments was greater year over year. Piston airplanes increased 7.3% with 761 units, turboprops decreased 3.4% with 280 units, and business jets increased with 322 units. Airplane deliveries through quarter two 2024 accounted for $11.3 billion, an increase of 24%. Shipments of piston helicopters through quarter two rose 2.7 percent with 115 units, while turbine helo deliveries decreased 7.7 percent with 313 units. Helicopter deliveries were valued at $1.7 billion. Pete Bunce, Gamma president and CEO, explained, quote, Through the first half of 2024, we continued to see robust demand for new aircraft, as indicated by the impressive backlogs and plans for facility expansion by many of our OEMs. Our constraints continue to be ongoing supply chain and workforce recapitalization issues, which are routinely compounded by unacceptable turn times in terms of responsiveness and lack of decision-making by the FAA specialist on such things as issue papers, certification plans, and regular correspondence." End quote. After the break, Kissimmee Airport's second annual food truck fly-in September 14th. For over 30 years, the Massive Sport Plane Resource Guide has provided expert, credible information, evaluations, and critical analysis of all that the sport aviation world has to offer. The all-new Digital Sport Plane Resource Guide is coming with extensive multimedia features that are constantly updated, and even more comprehensive online guide to all things sport aviation. Available soon. www.sportplane.com The legendary BD-4C program is building an exciting future for those who want a rugged four-seat family flyer with a proven history. The Surewings program produces a complete kit and builder assist program that gives you everything you need to be flying a BD-4CS in record time. For conventional kit builders, BD Aviation has parts, partial kits, and full kits for the 190 mile per hour BD-4C that has logged thousands of hours. Visit Surewings.com and BDAviation.com for more details. Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some shorter stories. Kissimmee Airport's second annual food truck fly-in September 14th. The Kissimmee Gateway Airport is holding its second annual food truck fly-in on Saturday, September 14th from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. at 401 Dyer Boulevard in Kissimmee, Florida, promising a foodie-focused fun day of aviation adventure combined with delicious culinary offerings. The airport is partnering with the Latino Pilots Association to present a variety of aircraft, including those used for flight training. Multiple food trucks will be available with a wide variety of offerings to please any culinary palate. ATR celebrates 1,700 aircraft delivered. ATR's trusty commuter turboprop passed a minor milestone over the summer with the delivery of the 1,700 aircraft to Air Corsica. The delivery put a cap on the firm's order of seven new ATR 72600s from its fleet of legacy ATR 500s. The aircraft have been a mainstay of the Air Corsica fleet for years. 
Their new ATR 72600 models, equipped with the PW127 XT engine, offers a quote 20% reduction in maintenance costs and at least a 3% reduction in fuel consumption, end quote, over the 500 models PW127M. Sporties modernizes its Learn to Fly course. Sporties recently finalized its mid-year upgrade to the Learn to Fly course. In this, several new features and lesson amendments were intertwined with the curriculum. The latest update integrates several new resources. Students will be offered interactive exercises, including instrument simulators, chart quizzes, and system diagrams to apply learned information. The course now presents a Smart Notes tool to keep track of progress and specific FAR study guides for each certification level. MBAA Base restores CAN's annual Fund an Angel event. The Corporate Angel Network is reintroducing its Fund an Angel event at the 2024 MBAA Business Aviation Convention and Exhibition. This fundraiser seeks to arrange business aircraft transportation for cancer patients in need of treatment. Robert Stengeron, CAM President and CEO, said, quote, As our most important fundraiser of the year, Fund an Angel proceeds enable us to grow our mission, helping cancer patients during the worst time of their lives, end quote. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. DJI NEO, finally a drone that feels like the future is here. DJI unveiled the NEO, a lightweight palm top camera operator to give creators a streamlined way to capture 4K UHD video on the go. The NEO is designed to be small and portable. NEO's primary mission is as a close-up videographer. NEO wants to orbit its operator, and it has little interest in straying away from them to see what else is going on around them. Standard modes include follow, expanse, circle, and more, all selections that will prove useful for those looking to get the perfect shot. Videographers will be content to see videos recorded in full 4K UHD resolution, thanks to its half-inch image sensor. Stills can be snapped at any time, resulting in a 12 megapixel resolution. Whether 4K is enough for true professionals is up to the user, but for easy breezy work like short form internet content and family video content, it's a good enough choice. The Neo can only offer about 18 minutes of flight time on a single charge. The unit comes in at a surprisingly affordable price point, particularly in 2024 terms. Entry cost sits at $199, which provides the tiny 4.8-ounce drone, a single battery, and some propeller guards. Buyers should note that the $200 price tag does not account for a remote control, which leaves operations dependent entirely on the DJI phone app. After these messages, SpaceX Polaris Dawn mission launches. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. I grew up in an aviation family. My dad flew airplanes and flew air shows, actually. So ever since I was three years old, the only thing I've ever wanted to do was be an air show pilot. It's cliche, but I get to live my dream every single day. I'm currently using the Hartzell Talon, the new aerobatic propeller. It's increased the performance of the airplane. It's made the harmonics balance throughout the airplane so much better. By far the best aerobatic propeller that I've ever flown behind. Welcome back. SpaceX Polaris Dawn mission launches. The Polaris Dawn mission launch window officially opened again on September 10th. The spacecraft sent its four-member crew into orbit to attempt the first ever commercial spacewalk. The mission was originally supposed to launch on August 26th, but was switched to August 27th for additional pre-flight checks. A helium leak and equipment designed to detach from the rocket caused a second delay. 
The third and most recent delay on August 28th was due to adverse weather conditions affecting the crew's return. The FAA also grounded the mission's Falcon 9 after it failed an attempt to land back on Earth during a routine Starlink mission. SpaceX was granted the option to continue flight tests during this period and was recently given the green light to resume launches as normal. After three weeks of final preparations at the Kennedy Space Center, SpaceX launched the Polaris Dawn and its Falcon 9 spacecraft. On Tuesday, September 10th at 5.23 a.m. Eastern, Falcon 9 launched Polaris Dawn to low Earth orbit from Launch Complex 39A at NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida. Following stage separation, Falcon 9's first stage landed on the Just Read the Instructions drone ship stationed in the Atlantic Ocean. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.